Hi, welcome back to the Wednesday segment of the Insider. I'm Lily, and I bet you can't guess what's new. If you guessed I got a plasma globe, you're right. Although you will have to explain to me how the whole psychic thing works. Actually, I got some posters. Observe the Hunger Games. Observe the French painting, whose name I don't know. I'm actually not really sure if it's French, but I bought it at the National Gallery of Art during the Impressionist exhibit, so I'm pretty sure it is. If you have any idea, please tell me, because I'd love to know. So this week, it's current events at the Insiders, and I chose the story of Jennifer Tyrell. I'm not really sure if it's Tyrell or Tyrell. You'll have to tell me. Anyway, she was a Boy Scout leader in Ohio, whose status was revoked because of her sexual orientation. Earlier this year, Jennifer was elected treasurer of her son's pack and discovered some inconsistencies in the finances, and she reported this to the BSA, or Boy Scouts of America. She received a notice stating that she, quote-unquote, did not meet the high standards of membership that the BSA seeks. So I'll let you know right now, I'm pretty biased about this. In fact, I'll have you know, I'm very supportive of homosexual rights. So, BSA is full of B. S. Reason one for my ho- pro-homosexual argument. The Bible. Most people actually use the Bible to show how they are against homosexuality. But if you look, it says, and if a man lies with man, as with womankind, both of them have committed abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. First statement. One, the Bible was written a couple thousand years ago. Is everything in it still relevant? If it is, women shall be marrying their rapists. Second of all, what happened to love thy neighbor? I mean, come on, really. Has any of you ever watched Veggie Tales? So, my point is, love thy neighbor. Don't kill thy neighbor. Second, the Declaration of Independence. It states, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, and that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, if love isn't the pursuit of happiness, I don't know what it is. Also, people say, well, you know, the country was created by God fearing men. Yes. Our country was created at a time when it was legal to own a person and use it as property, like an animal, and also to beat your wife. So, think about it. Our country was founded by great scholars, but they were also racists, sexists, and homophobes. On that lovely note, I will see you guys next week. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Bye!